We are back with the flip flop and uh, well I'm going out on a date night tonight in a bit so let's have a little quick one uh, quick gander watches oh, I can't know I to say bunder door, for some reason but it was locked from the inside <clears throat> Hi there. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? <laughs> very, uh... Very, very different. I'm you know, George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of a picnic. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run. From me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption for trying to buy him medicine. Chop firewood for father Mahoney till the fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I, see what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. Huh. What can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only, what do you want to know? Oh, nothing. You know something huh? about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called the Phantom of Loch Man. You're not telling me you Spooky believe in ghosts. ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig, only worst. It was coming from inside the castle. Spooky. Did you find out what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows. I could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but my legs had lost their stuffing. The music seems to be loud, and I'm about to turn up I now. Did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on my ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing and horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why, I fell off the bloody wall. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. There is. The bloody place is haunted. Simple bear. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marne? They all dress like clowns. The man I'm looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff, only no one believes him. Then, while he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God, that doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. Yeah, right. You're not a day over 14. Oh no, it's 25 that I am. 
Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. Do you know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't, because he's not here now, but if I sees him, I'll ask him. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels and gold and skeletons, like in the films. Uh -oh. Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No, I never seen him. What do you think this tool is used for? Lifting drains. Dead right. How did you know that? Work experience course at school. It gives me a choice of going down the drains or up the chimney. You're kidding. Have you ever seen anyone wearing one of these? Sure. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That belongs to the killer clown you're looking for. That's right. Can I have it? Sorry. I'm keeping this as evidence. You should have told the cops. I did. They weren't interested. You should run tests on that, mister. You could identify the murderer with a sample of his snot. Yuck. I don't think so. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing. Give me your hand. Get lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, mister. I don't do tricks. Father Mahoney told me I'd burn in hell if I did. I just want to shake your hand, that's all. No way. Do you recognize this matchbook, McGuire? No, sir. I never seen it before in my life. Ever heard of Thomas Merlin or the Gruber Electronics Corporation? No. I'm not seeing. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Mr. McGuire. Nobody in the pool. Um, I'll speak to him and work our way across. Hi there, old timer. What? <coughs> oh, nice. Nasty Snacks cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Pious prig. Anyway. This is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police? No. I'd know it if you were. <clears throat> Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Lockbarn Castle is haunted. <coughs> That's what the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me. That's right. Nothing human in it. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own eyes. Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee stunted beast. Long beak. Straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or uh, a skunk or something? Skunk? In Loch Marne? That'll be the day. That'll no, be the day. Yeah, that was a good day. To be sure. Oh, that'll be the day. That'll be the day. I think That'll I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know that? what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmar. Oh! Huh. Do you know Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? No, I don't know him. What's that you're making? It's a necklace, me bucko. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. 
When my little lover feels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All mine. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any of this. Can you identify this tool? No. no it's going to be no Do use. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Too. I can't tell without my glasses. What does this red nose mean to you? Nothing. You could make use of this tissue. Never use them. Those things are unhygienic. Yeah, probably if you carry what around like that. What does mean to you? Nothing. Go away and stop bothering me. Huh. Take a look at this ID card. I don't know anything about it. Hey, would you like to shake my... Uh, no, on second thought, forget it. I'll see you later. Let's talk to the bar. Right. The bar. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. Code, though, I beg better. your pardon. Be well, that's, that's what you Irish say, more. isn't it? Do you want right. something? Or are you just flaunting your xenophobia? Oh, well, I, I was trying to be sociable. <laughs> Is there a room you're after? Uh, yeah. That's uh, not a bad idea. Do you have a vacancy? I could, if you don't mind waiting until the last guest checks out. No problem. When will that be? When the undertaker comes to collect him. Oh, nice. Have you served any, uh, clowns recently? No. no. You're the first today. Oh, bless. Do you know a man Ritty called Bastard. Pegram? Indeed I do. Are He's you upside a down fucking head. Look at that. By any chance? Oh, no. I'm just trying to track him down. Me too. That son of a bitch should be locked away. Did Pegram stay here? Yes, he did. Six nights plus breakfast. I'll try a glass of beer, please. Is this your first pint of real ale? Uh, well, I guess so. What's real ale, anyhow? Beer that's brewed from natural ingredients to traditional methods. It shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. And finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat and worn with bits in, and it makes you fall over. Let's get shit fast. It's party time. Do you recognize this man? No, I don't. What do you want with him? I've got a score to settle. I don't want any trouble in the bar, mister. If it's a fight you're looking for, see Father Mahoney. A priest? A man of the cloth? Sure. And he teaches the boys how to box at the youth club. According to Mahoney, it develops character. Isn't that right, Pat? Didn't he teach you all the art of pugilism? Doyle. Sorry, Michael. I was miles away. What did you say? Ah, never mind. Here's something which might interest you. It doesn't. Heh. <laughs> nice. Does this false nose mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Does this tissue mean anything to you? That's disgusting. Uh-huh. I found it in the sewers. Well, what's the idea of waving it around in my face? You're worse than old Ron. Put it away, man. Who the fucking Hey, bartender? Uh, landlord, if you don't mind. Sorry. Uh, shake my hand, why don't you? Now, why should I do that? What have you got up your sleeve? Nothing. Come on, just shake my hand. Oh, not just now, mister. I have to be careful on account of the health restrictions. Oh, jeez. Say, health and safety. Do you recognize this matchbook? He's got no, a health control back in the 90s. Do you recognize the name on this card? No. Should I? Nah, it was a long shot. Look. I gotta be going. Oh. oh, I think there's something about the plug as well. It was a beer-stained piece of toweling. No. No. Something about that at some point. Let's try the violinist. He wasn't listening. He didn't say fuck all, that's right. Hi, my name's Stobart, George Stobart. Hello there, mister. 
What can I do for you? I'm a funny look, Renee. Do you know Professor Pegram? Do I know him? Do I know the good professor himself? No, I don't. I mean, I know who he is, but I don't know him to talk. Do you know anything about Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. Is that a fact? What the hell for? Is the science of archaeology out? Understanding how people used to live by what they left behind. One day archaeologists might be digging up our remains. Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Well, it won't be arrowheads and beakers. Fast food cartons and flavored condoms, more likely. Mmm, condoms with a bit of flavor. Just my treat. Did anyone from the village work at Pegram's Dig? I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. What a nerve. Haven't I dug more hopes than the rest of them put together? Can you tell me anything about the castle on the hill? Oh, I don't know much about anything. You should ask Mr. O'Brien here. He has joined up writing. Would you be one of them history fellows yourself? Yeah, why not? That's right. Professor Stobart, Miskatonic University. You're an archaeologist, and you're asking us about the castle. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. The gentleman was talking to me. How come you didn't leave with the others? I didn't know they'd gone. Oh, yes. Packed their spades and shovels, and away they went. Seems I missed all the excitement. What excitement? Mm, what excitement indeed. Oh, that's so I'm on tool. You shit. What do you make of this tool? It's for lifting manhole covers. There you go. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? It's a handsome mug on that fella, to be sure. Is he a film star? Film. What does this false nose mean to you? Ah, uh, no, you're a clown. Does this tissue mean anything to you? No, boss. May I shake your hand? No, you can't. Well, how come? <laughs> because I'll spill me beer if you do. Oh, very good reason. What do you think of this towel? No, there's a fine piece of cloth if ever I did see one. Such craft must surely come from linen cupboards and the Vatican itself. Do you recognize this matchbook? No. Does this yeah. security pass mean anything to you? Yeah. Uh, mm, well, no. Bye for now. Nice talk to talk. Hello there. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Hey, O'Brien. Uh, can I help you? Have you heard of the Phantom? More than that. I've seen it. And let me tell you, it's a dreadful spectacle. So it's not just a local legend. There really is a Phantom of Loch Marne. Oh, no. I was talking about the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? I most certainly have. A remarkable institution. Did you know? They were the very first of the Atlantic to 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 the Atlantic in a manner of speaking, I suppose they did. did. But what their currency record? Didn't tell us any much like Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 They were arrested. Yeah. Many men were burned. I had to stick. They they bloody well deserved it. They were anything like my bad. <laughs> what can you tell me about the castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? It's deep back to the terrace and the hill. Most of the existing building was out of my place, of course. Or are the ruins open to the public? Oh, no, no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. Oh, yes, I bet Can you tell me about the tripod which was found in the castle? 
Now there's a bone of contention and controversy, which was over by an Englishman of the archaeological suspicion. Who was this Englishman? Professor Pegram, the same man who dug up Jeff Jeff. Do you know where I can find you, Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. I saw a fight with our esteemed host, I might add. Do you know where Pegram is gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. We looked anchor in the dark and shipped out before the dark. And why did he do that? Who knows? A guilty conscience or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Lachmar. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to Norman. Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? He's lost a paying guest, that's why. More than that, there's the question of an unsettled bid. Poor oh. Michael's seen red over no, the business, I'm... and I don't blame him. Uh, I think I'm gonna... We're intimately... Danny Can you Beckham tell me today. more about the landlord? Mick Leary? He's what you call a, a would-be sophisticated. The trouble is, his idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. I never worked out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in braille. <laughs> what can you tell me about the gem which Pegram found? Now there's a gem which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to covet that stone. What's your interest in the Jew? You're not a reporter, are you? Oh no. Thank the Lord for that. How can I get into the castle? Well, those wards were built specifically to stop people getting in, Mr. Stobart. But I dare say you'll find a way, if you've the will. I'm gonna bother asking him about Goodbye that. for now. Shit. Now let's speak to fucking... Weird Ned Flanders, whatever it is. My name's like. George. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. There's nothing like that. What can you tell me about the castle? There is nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes, when I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. We didn't oh, go there gosh. anymore. Broke his you head. haven't been up there recently? No. Broke his head and died, man. Like... Do you know Professor Pegram? He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Can I get you another drink? Oh, no thank you. I shouldn't be drinking at all. I'm on tablets of my nerves. More than a pint and I'll pass out. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I'm sure I don't know him. Ever seen this towel before? Doesn't it belong on the back? Very observant, Fitzgerald. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. Check out this pass. Thomas Merlin? No. Never heard of him. Well, what I do you think, think this tool is used for? for something to do with horses? Wrong. It's for opening manhole covers. Oh, really? Well, you learn something every day. See you later. But we're gonna try this as well. Because I know at some point you have to take this fucking wire. Just stand here. Come on, do your shit. As soon as the Yeah, yeah. Sneaky sneaky. And on that note, we will save the game. B S9 and I will see you on the flip flop